हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सॉलिड्स इन इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग एंड द वेरियस डायमेंशनल पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द सॉलिड्स व्हाट इज अ सॉलिड इट इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट व्हिच हैज लेंथ ब्रेथ एंड थिकनेस सो थ्री डायमेंशंस आर देयर बेसिकली व्हाट इज अ सॉलिड solid is a 3d object that's it so classification of solids is first is solids of polyhedra second is solids of revolution okay solids of polyhedra and solids of revolution so you just understand this thing what is a polyhedron just see this this is a cube okay so this solid this is a solid it is a cube you know it has different faces this is one one of the face and these are the sides or edges you can see similarly what is this this is in your language it may be cuboid okay but uh, we will call it as square prism we will call it as square prism okay i'll i'll explain afterwards so even if you have this what is this is a pentagonal prism okay it is a pentagonal prism it is also a prism it is a pentagonal prism so similarly this also this also it has sides this is a pentagonal pyramid this is a pentagonal pyramid okay so basically any of the solids which have sides okay you can say in the base also it has sides in the in the you know lateral surface also it has the sides okay those all those solids are known as solid of polyhedra okay so all these solid that i just showed you these are solids of polyhedra any of the solids which has uh you know sides and edges and corner so it is known as solid of polyhedra is it still solid of revolution now what is a solid of revolution let us say i have a plane a rectangular plane let us say i have a rectangular plane let me just fold it let us say i have this rectangular plane and this is the you can say axis this is the axis and i am rotating this about this axis or revolving this about this axis i keep this as stationary and it is revolving around this so it will become a cylinder isn't it it will become a cylinder okay similarly if i have a triangle triangular plane okay i have a triangular plane and i revolve it around this center line like this no i revolve it it will become a cone these types of solids you know these are known as solids of revolution okay so what are solids of polyhedra you can say cube pyramid prism similarly here you have cone cylinder etc okay like this is 
this is a cylinder right this is a cylinder understand the this uh, the different types of solids there is one more classification classification on the basis of their you know base and top the so first is first classification is when you have same base and top of equal dimensions okay same base and top or you can say equal base and top so for example like this is a prism okay so it has same dimensions of this base and same dimensions of this top so it it has a pentagonal base let us say if it is 80 mm and this is also the top also it is a pentagon it is also of 80 mm under this we have a prism okay under this we have a cylinder under this we have a cube etc right okay then second is one base okay and apex at the top so there is one base and an apex at the top okay so this is this is the base okay this is the base and all the corners these are the i will discuss these in detail the, the various parts okay all the corners of the base are joined to a single point at the top this is known as apex okay so this is the other classification so one base and apex at the top this is the apex okay so this is you can you can you know to understand and to remember this you can uh, use this classification pyramid and a cone or maybe something else also. right <clears throat> okay now various parts of the solid let us see what are the various parts of the solids let us take a, a square prism so this is a square prism so this is a base okay this is base and this is top this is base this is top these are 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 these are base corners then this is 1 2 3 and 4 what are this these are top corners okay these are top corners then now understand this let us say if this is a b c and d so this is a b this is b c c d and d a right so this is base edge this is base edge this is base edge and this is base edge so now we will not be calling these as sides we will be calling these as edges base edge one base edge second base edge third base edge and fourth base edge so these are base edges similarly top edges now this black colored line you can see 1 2 3 and 4 these are known as longer edges this is a base edge this is longer edge then this thing this is known as rectangular surface it is a rectangular surface this is known as rectangular surface this is known as rectangular surface this is actually a prism so when you have same base and same top and you have edges okay it is not a circle you have edges so it is a prism 
so similarly you have this this is also a prism this is a pentagonal prism okay it is a pentagonal prism so you have one base one top and you know all the all the remaining parts will remain the same so one base one top this is these are the edges uh, these are longer edges these are base edges five corners base corners are there top corners are there top edges base edges then again rectangular face these are the rectangular faces now let us come to a pyramid what is a pyramid when you have polygon at the base okay when you have polygon at the base and apex at the top right is it clear polygon at the base this is a polygon and apex at the top all the base corners are attached to a single point at the top known as apex this is base and all the base corners are attached to a single point at the top which is known as apex right is it clear so this is a pyramid now now the various parts just see this is again this is the base this is the base so base corners okay base corners then this is apex these are slant edges and what is this this is a triangular face in prism we have rectangular face and here we have triangular face then now we have this cylinder let us say the cylinder is there on this cylinder we have imaginary lines okay we have imaginary lines those lines are known as generators so let us study this topic under the ppt a solid is a three dimensional object having length breadth and thickness it is completely bounded by a surface or surfaces which may be curved or plane solid is an aggregate of points lines and planes so we had started from a simple object that was a point which was dimensionless and then lines which was one dimensional object planes which was two dimensional and then we had gone to solids now the solid is a three dimensional object then the classification of solids so group a solids having top and base of same shape group b solids having base of some shape and just a point at the top known as apex so under group a what are the solids first is cylinder so cylinder is having base and top which are a circle only then prisms all the prisms so triangular prism square prism pentagonal prism and then hexagonal prism so prism basically it is a solid which is having polygon at the base and polygon at the top name of these prisms are devised after the shape of their base so then cube also comes under this category under group b we have cone the base is a circle and the apex at the top then all the pyramids polygon at the base and apex at the top all the corners of the base are attached to the single point known as apex then tetrahedron so tetrahedron basically these are triangular faces four triangular faces which are attached edge to edge equilateral triangles in the tetrahedron so various parts of solids square prism square pyramid cylinder cone so this is the top of the prism this is rectangular face this is longer edge this is corner 
or you can say base corner this is edge of the base this is the base then this is square pyramid this is apex of the square pyramid then slant edge base edge of the base this is base corner this is triangular face now in case of cylinder and cone we do not have any edges or corners so there are we assume that there are a there are imaginary lines which are known as generators so as you can see in the ppt so these are known as generators imaginary line generating curved surface of cylinder and cone so base this is apex base so further there are two more categories of the solids one is sections of solids in which top and base are not parallel and second is frustum of a cone and pyramid when the base and top are parallel to each other right so i suppose the basics of projections of solids are clear to you thank you very much